Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it's time for the Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, March 3rd. The Roundup is the show where I take a look back at what I've done over the previous week, I take a look ahead at what I'm going to do over the next week, and I just generally run my mouth about anything gaming that pops into my head. I'm not really sure at this point what you're going to be seeing on your screen, but hopefully it is pleasing to the eye, so please do enjoy it. I'll probably put the name of the game up on your screen right about now, in case you don't recognize it. This show should be on the shorter side because I really don't have a lot of time. Although we did have a really big week last week and we may have an even bigger week next week, I just simply don't have time to talk about it. So let's go ahead and look back on the week that was. Last week we did three videos and we started out with a video for Shatter, the breakout retro update game from She out of New Zealand. As a couple of you know, I tweet about all my videos. I just make a tweet that says, hey, I uploaded a first impressions video about this game. And if it's a smaller developer, I'll usually try to copy them if they have a Twitter. Well, in this case, she did, I did, and they retweeted it. And this allowed one of their former employees, James Everett, to see the tweet and to uh, give me a little thank you shout out on Twitter. James is currently working for Ubisoft out of their Toronto office. And uh, don't get me wrong here, I don't think, oh my god, some guy at Ubisoft retweeted one of my tweets. I'm going to be like internet famous. I don't think I'm going to get an in in the gaming industry. I'm just excited that someone like James is still following a game that he worked on four years ago. And he's excited that someone new is discovering the game. I thought that was really, really cool. And it really meant a lot to me that he gave me a little thank you over Twitter. And uh, just sort of spread the word about the fact that I actually made uh, a video about the game. And that caused the view count to get up over 100, which is unusual for my videos. So thank you very much, James. In terms of the Shatter video, it got an overwhelmingly positive response from you guys, and uh, one of the guys who viewed it, I think his name was Greylib, or Greylib, he actually gave me a couple of tips, and I went in and tried them, and man, they make the game even better. So I'm still really, really enjoying Shatter, and uh, I appreciate that you guys also enjoyed the video. After the Shatter video, I gave you some bonus content in the form of my first impression of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer free-to-play weekend that occurred a few weeks ago. If you want to know what I think about the game, just go watch the video. I was surprised that the response was mostly positive. I mean, I didn't get any dislikes like when I did the uh, Black Ops... <laughs> first impression, but uh, that was pretty cool. I was glad that you guys, even who, the ones who don't like the game, were just kind of like, okay, I kind of see what you're getting at, cool, whatever, uh, let's move on. And indeed, let's move on to the final video of the week, which was my uh, super massive Humble Bundle Mojam video, where we covered all three games from the Humble Bundle Mojam 60-hour game jam. All in all, I had a pretty positive impression of all the games, although, of course, you will uh, note the negatives that I pointed out in the video. Seemed like a few of you guys got the Mojam that I know of from talking to you, but uh, for the most part, it didn't seem like the majority of the audience did. I really enjoyed it. I think it was a great concept, and I was glad to be a part of it and to be able to make a video talking about the games. Uh, the three companies that came together, I really have to give them a uh, hand. It is a wonderful thing to do something like that for charity, to give up your long weekend and to uh, put forth some interesting stuff for the community to absorb and to watch because there were streams going on during the whole weekend as well and that was really, really cool. Uh, I tuned in for a short while to the Mojang stream and actually saw them doing some character animation and stuff like that. That was really cool. I did not, however, see the uh, much talked about bacon fight that Notch apparently had. Uh, but yeah, if you want to uh, know more about that, check your favorite video game news site for the humble Mojam, and you will certainly find news of the Notch bacon fight. And finally, to wrap up the week, we put a contest on BigDavisCheap.com. You can answer a simple trivia question and get in the running to win an Indie Gala bundle number two, which is actually 13 games and nine musical albums. It actually includes the majority of the Indie Gala number one, as well as all the additional games added for the Indie Gala number two. So it's 13 wonderful games, one of which you've already seen here on the channel, Fortix, uh, actually two of which. You also saw Critical Mass. They are both included as well. Other really standout games in there would be In Momentum, Robo Blitz, several of the hacker games, and your doodles are bugged. As this video is going up, you may still have a couple of hours to enter that contest, and the entry is actually pretty simple. You have to answer a trivia question. What is my wife's name? Now, savvy readers can actually find the answer to that question in the post. 
So put your sleuthing skills to the test and try to find the answer hidden within the post itself. Hint, it's really not hidden that well. So that covers the week that was. Let's talk about the week that will be. A very big week planned, fingers crossed on that, hopefully going to happen, planned for next week. And it's going to feature utilizing the OnLive gaming service to play some of the nominees and honorable mentions for the Independent Games Festival, which is going on this coming week. So, tune in Monday for a video that describes exactly what we're going to do for the rest of the week. I'm not going to give you any more details right now because that video is going to be thorough in documenting the week that will be. So in terms of the weekend itself, there were some cool sales going on this week. The sort of end of February kind of sales and leap day sales that went on during the week. This weekend there is a Payday the Heist free-to-play, which is probably over by the time you're listening to this. I did not unfortunately get a chance to play, so I will not manage to actually get a video up giving you my thoughts and impressions. Alright guys, as I said, I am a little low on time, so that is going to do it for this week. I have been Big Dave, and until next time... Take it easy.